This video is sponsored by Factor. What's up you guys? Steven Wonderboy Thompson here at Team Pitch Black and Upstate Karate. You guys have seen this place. If you haven't been here personally, you should fly down and come hang out with us and get, get some training in with me and Sweet Tea. Because Sweet Tea's here is always training, aren't you, Sweet Tea? Amen. So today it's all about conditioning. Conditioning the arms, taking full blown roundhouse kicks here. Taking roundhouse kicks to the quads, to the legs, to be able to condition that as well. Now I've seen guys in other gyms, and uh, you probably have seen this before, where they have these guys up against the wall with their hands behind their back and they're taking just like 50 shots to the head. I'm sorry. You cannot condition your brain, that is dumb, so do not do that. But if you're if you're out there learning how to block correctly and taking a full blown roundhouse kick to the leg or to the body, you can condition that. So today, conditioning. What up everybody? Everybody, what's up everybody? Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Our team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Get started on your resolutions with Factor. So you're ready for the new year? Factor's ready to eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery store, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals, to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and more. Plus, over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolution. Forget frantic lunch preps and rushed dinners. Factors two-minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year. Fuel up fast with restaurant quality meals all delivered right to your door. Not only does Factor offer fast, simple solutions when I am too busy to cook, they also help me stay on top of my goals. With offerings like Protein Plus and Keto, I can stay on track. This is definitely going to come in handy for my new year goals. That's actually really good to try that. I love Factor because with my busy schedule, I'm training and teaching in just two minutes, I'll have a delicious meal and they have a tremendous amount of variety when it comes to different foods. They offer smoothies and they offer breakfast, all kinds of stuff. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code WONDERBOY50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code WONDERBOY50 50 to get 50% off your first factor box. All right, conditioning, ladies and gents. This is all a part of the fight sport. You gotta condition your body. We're gonna do what we call a kicking circle, all right? Where we circle it up, we're all gonna be facing to the left. If I start reaching, start doing this, I'm open to the body. I'm open to the head. I like it when guys' arms stray from their body because it gives me more openings. The closer your arms are to your body, the easier it is to block. Very little movement. Do I wanna do this? What did I just do? What, what's, what's open? Next time that kick's gonna go to the face. Even though he's going to the body, and I know he's going to the body, realistically, you don't know where it's going. So if he throws that roundhouse kick, boom, I'm going here. I'm taking my hip to my elbow, not my elbow. I'm not just moving here, I'm going here. Now watch my back foot. I rotate, makes it easier. Because when he goes, he slams it, boom. Now, if you got somebody who's throwing really hard, I'm gonna reinforce it with my front hand. Front hand, reinforce it. He throws, boom. That way I spread out the impact over a larger group of surface. I'm blocking with all of this. So he throws, I block. And then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to uh, my buddy Weston and it's gonna go all the way around back to me. Alrighty, go for it, sir. Boosh, boosh, boosh. boosh. If I go here, right, that's a little too far. I want to be here. The reason for that is if I go here and he throws the kick, I got to bring this arm back around to throw the strike. And I can't do this. He throws. I can't scoop it by if I, if I wanted to. Or even if I don't hook, he goes, I go. My hands are there. All right, let's pick it up. Let's go. Ready? Boom, boosh. Boom, boosh. Hard, hard. Slam I am not gonna block with just my forearm, guys. Some of y'all are doing this. You gotta spread out that impact across all of this. If you take that shin straight just to here, it's gonna what? I've done it. I didn't break my arm, but I've broken somebody's arm. Ah! 
There he is. So far away. Yeah. Now watch your partner closely. If you start to see that arm creep up, get below it. Cause you gotta make sure, you gotta keep them honest. You gotta keep them honest. You got me? Nice. There you go. Elbow. Right to the elbow. <laughs> How'd that feel, bro? Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Imagine what not having a shin pad will do. And a straight shin. Or what's even worse, when that foot slaps around, gets around that back and slaps that back, ah! It does not feel good. Now we're gonna go the other direction. Go right side forward, go in the opposite direction now. And commentate. And go! Switch sides, Greta. Nope. <laughs> Hit him so hard, you knocked him backwards, bruh. You knocked him in the wrong direction, Marley. That elbow down. Wrong side, run to the wrong side. Left foot in front. There you go. If you're not careful, especially with this kind of a kick, I want to hit with my shin. If the only thing that's hitting his arm is the top of your foot, right? You're gonna have some foot damage, right? I don't want just the top of the foot. I want the shin to hit so it's a it's a it's a heavier blow. So you feel it through your body. Mm, mm. Got me? Condition it. Condition it. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, baby. There we go. Bro, gotta condition that body. What this drill does, if you're not blocking like you're supposed to, you're in fear of getting hit to the body or getting liver shotted. He's gonna work that slide up, lead leg round, keep to the outside of mine. All I'm, I'm not gonna check it. I'm not checking anything. Your legs gotta know what it feels like to get smoked a little bit. I'm not gonna stay like so. I'm putting weight and I'm turning it outward. What I don't want to happen is for my leg to be relaxed and then him hit it because it's gonna, his shin bone is going to go straight to my, my, my femur. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Femur. Good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He's going to lead leg. Boom. Just like so, I'm taking it. Now, this might have to be a little lighter for some of you. If it's too light, all right, pick the energy up a little bit. Got me? Everybody got it? Hey, guys, y'all got it? What? All right, here we go. I want you to lead leg. Boom. Boom. There you go. This is This is a great way to kind of get, to know what it feels like to get leg kicked with a shin pad on. I mean, obviously, even though it's not barefoot on the leg, we're kind of conditioning that up a little bit as well so you know what it feels like. Now, do I want to take shots there? No, I don't. But if it does happen, I take a good hard shot, I know how to continue and be able to cope with that, move around with that, know what that feels like. For I know a lot of guys who don't know what that feels like, they take a few shots there and they're done. Wait. Hip -hip -hip. Some of us realize if I don't move this foot, if I don't angle this out, and it gets that IT that IT band right there, you if you give me a few, if you get hit there a few times, your movement's going to be out the window. Ask Chappie about that. I try not to take the leg kick in the same spot. Even if I do this, I still move it back or forward just a little bit so it's not hitting the same area. I only might get hit here the first time, move it back just a little bit, get hit a little lower, move it forward a little bit, get hit a little higher. So we wanna boom or boom or boom a little deeper so I'm not hitting in the same spot. So now we're gonna go the other direction now. There we go. There we go. Angle it out, baby. Oh, don't turn it in, don't turn the knee in. If he throws the kick and my knee is inward, my knee should not be in. I should not be doing this. I wanna be out. I wanna turn my toes as far out as possible. Now, it's hard to do that from a bladed stance. If I'm taking a lot of leg kicks, for instance, when I fought Vicente Luque, he hit me with just three low calf kicks, and that, I felt that for like two weeks after. So instead of going here, I squared my stance up a little bit. I had to, I had to, Square it up just a, just a little bit. Go classic kickboxing stance, so it makes it easier for me to get that leg outward, get a little bit more bladed. So when he goes here, he goes the kick. Boom. Nice. Nice. There we go, Alex. Better. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Good. Where are your hands at when you're blocking? You got to keep your hands up, even though we're going low kick. Hands stay up. 
Now, going the opposite direction. Now this time, starting with my, my back hand. I'm ripping to the body, ripping to the body. So he's gonna rip to me. I'm gonna go one, two. You are up against the cage. You're, you're in a tight spot. I can't rely on my movement to get away. So I have to rely on my blocking skills. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go boom, boom. Really smoke it in there, guys. There we go. When I throw my hooks, number one, I don't want my foot on the inside. If I put my foot on the inside, I'm taking away from my backhand power. If he's in his fighting stance, I want my foot to the outside. Always in an open stance, foot to the outside. Now I'm punching through this guy. No, this foot's holding me back. He's over here behind me almost. So I want to be here. So one, look at me, hands here. I'm not doing this. I'm not arm punching. I'm getting my body in position. Boom. So one, two. Rip it out, rip it, rip it out. If he goes to throw the hook, some of us are doing this. You know you're going to the body. That's the drill. You know it's going there, but visualize, think about it. You don't know where the hook's going to go. So block everything. Stop dropping the arms down. Another thing, if I start doing this, even if there's separation between my glove and my head, I've seen people get knocked out getting hit in their own arm, and their own arm hitting them in the face, and down they go. Let me hear the thud. So, it's, you, gotta, you gotta kinda reinforce this a little bit with your head. It kinda doesn't make sense, but it actually works when you're, when you're here. Here, uh. What I'm gonna do it now, I'm gonna look to see if his, if his elbows are low enough. If his elbows aren't low enough, next, Next time I come through, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him in the body. Some of us are getting hit to the body, because watch this. You're doing this, your butt's too far back, and you're rotating, and this is what's happening. My elbow has got to come. I wanna feel like I'm elbowing my hip, all right? If I do not turn my body and I do, and I do this, he's still gonna hit the front, boom. Remember, I'm making this smaller by turning it sideways. If he doesn't hit me in the arm, he's gonna completely miss me here. Here, he hits, bang. But when I turn here, if, even if he misses, he, he's gonna miss me altogether. Nice. One more time through after this, come on. You wanna feel the tingle in the arm. Be careful of winging it, be careful of winging it. So I wanna throw here, get the other hand up. When one goes out, the other one comes back. What we want to eventually do, right now, you have a long break between rounds, right? You get hit, it's gotta go all the way around the circle before you get hit, hit again. So there's a little bit of recovery there, right? I wanna eventually be able to do two minute rounds. This guy's just kicking, boom, boom, or boom, boom. So you're taking more shots throughout the remainder of the of the of the round, our pro training, we're taking them not back. I mean, just nonstop, pop, 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 pop. So that way, when I'm out there, I'm confident that I you can kick me as hard as you can. I'm confident I can take it. Now, there's a difference between blocking with big gloves on and a difference between blocking with MMA gloves on, as we've seen before. This can cover up a lot of your head, but with your MMA gloves on, which we're going to have to do, is be able to block with the MMA glove. It doesn't cover as much of your head. So there you have it, guys. Your Technique Tuesday gave you some drills that you guys can do back at home, conditioning the body. Hopefully you got a partner. If you don't have a partner. You could have like your mom drive yes, your car. car with you. Mm -hmm. I like where your head's at, sweet tea. I'm kidding, don't do that, please. <laughs> Throw some comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see up next. Hit that subscribe button and dingle that bell. Dingle it. So you guys know what our next upload is. Love you guys, peace. <laughs>